Hi, my name is Willie. I'm with 7x77cycles.com and today we are going to be mounting the Bad Boy Air Horn Kit on my 2011 Ultra Classic Limited. Um, I'm going to do it step by step with you and kind of explain to you if I have any issues or problems, kind of do a little review on the instructions, the quality of the part, things of that nature. So. Um, <clears throat> I got all the parts laid out here, so let me get this camera moved and I'll show you what it all comes with. Okay, this is the kit outside the box, and it comes with the instructions the air horn mounting kit, uh, wiring harness, relay, some wire ties, and some nuts and bolts. So. All right, step one is is we're going to take the um, mounting bracket and mount it to the horn. So we'll get that done, and then we'll move to step two. Okay, in the first step, we were to mount the uh, mounting bracket to the bracket on the back of the horn. As you can see here, this silver part is the bracket on the back of the horn. The black part is the mounting bracket. Um, they got this shaped up really nice. Got it so that it fits in there and it locks itself in so it can't swivel. Got a little ledge on the side of it there that locks it against the mounting bracket or the, the actual mount on the horn. Um, nice heavy bolt going through here. The nut kind of fits up into the bracket on the horn so that you don't have to you know fudge around with a wrench on there you just put your allen on there snug it up nice and tight really easy to do and then uh, they give you this fancy little hot spot cap that goes right on the top of the allen to cover that bolt up it goes right in there fits in there nice and snug and looks nice and pretty all right the next step to this is to um, take the existing horn off the bike take the uh, seat off and expose the battery so that you can uh, get your wiring harness in there. So I'm going to get that done and then we'll move on from there. Okay, in these next couple steps here, okay, the, the next step is to remove the existing horn off the bike. I did that. I also wanted you to remove the seat and expose the battery. I did that, okay, and then they, the next step is they want you to hook up the wiring harness for the horn to the battery and then route that wiring harness up underneath the tank. Now I chose to go ahead and unmount my tape from the rear mount and block it up here, you know what I mean, as you can see I stuffed a rag in here so that these two don't get bound, you know, start scratching stuff up in there. But I went ahead and raised the back of this tank up to give me some room to route that wiring harness up underneath there. And I've, I've got my route and the way I want to do it now. And you just got to kind of look at it. It's, it's, it's a preference thing on how you want to do it. Karyakin's got plenty of warnings in here saying they ain't warrantying nothing if you pinch or fray or melt the wire. You know, if that that's on you. So you got to figure out how you want to route this this harness and uh, you know whatever's comfortable with you I chose to round it right along the rail on or the frame rail up underneath the tank and then bring it up right up the rail and then drop it down and then run it right with the original wiring for the horn um, of the bike and then I'm wire tying those together and it seems like it's going to stay out of the way everything and nothing's going to get bound pinched or burned so that's how we're going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish wire tying this stuff up. I'm going to hook up my positive and my negative to my battery. And then my wiring harness will be in. And then it will be time to mount the horn. Okay. Okay, I got the uh, wiring harness in here. I got it routed underneath the bike or underneath the tank. I got uh, connected in with the original wire for the horn. I got uh, the uh, hot and the negative directly to the battery. 
I disconnected the fuse. It does have a fusible link in the wiring harness. I pulled the fuse on it so I didn't run into any problems while I was connecting the wires up and things of that nature. The next step here is to go ahead and mount this horn and then plug this thing in and uh, pop that fuse in there and give it a try. So I'll get that done and then uh, we'll give this thing a blast, see how it works. All right, as you can see, we got this thing mounted up on the bike. When you mount this, it uses the original uh, bolt and washer off of the bike. Um, it slides onto the original mounting bracket from the bike, and it fits up in there really nice and snug. You got to really kind of, you really, you got to work it in there to get it in there, and it, it fits in there good. And it's got the rubber mounting, so it's bouncing around. But uh, I'm a little excited. I haven't got to hear this thing yet. So let's hear what this thing sounds like. Good and loud. Just the way I like my horns. All right. Uh, of course, I got to get the uh, seat and side covers and the bag back on this. But... Uh, Let's go over this a little bit. Uh, one thing I didn't like about this is the fact that on the original horn here, Harley Davidson has got it set up here where the wiring runs down the bracket and into this clip here, this little bendable clip. And that's not an option with this. So your wiring back here you really got to play with it and figure out a way to get it wired tight in there to where it does not get in between the heads, you know, you know, in between the heads of the engine and melt up. And another thing I don't like is, is the fact that, you know what I mean, when you're uh, at head level with this thing, of course, when you're above it, you don't see it. But if you kind of tuck down there and look, you can see the wires going in the bottom of the horn. And I just think that, you know, you could maybe drop this, drop this chrome plate down a little bit further to, just to hide that. Well, other than that, this uh, was a good installation. It went smooth. The directions were uh, right on point. I mean, everything they told you to do, you had to do, and there was no secrets in it. Yeah. Uh, now, they didn't say to unmount the tank, but I just chose to do that to make it easier on me. So, all right, uh, sounds good. I think I'm going to enjoy this horn. All right, I wanted to give you a little bit closer shot of this thing. Um, like I said, uh, right there is one of the things I don't like about it is, is when you're level with it, you can definitely see the wire that plugs into the bottom of it. And uh, other than that, I like this thing. It is good and loud, and that's what its purpose is. I really like to be able to get people's attention when I'm laying on my horn. So this thing is definitely going to do the job because, I mean, being here in the shop and pushing that button it hurts my ears so okay other than uh, being able to see that wire down below there I, I I like this thing and it is definitely loud enough and it looks nice too so and uh, the wiring harness was you know what I mean it installed really well and uh, it's, it was a pretty good deal here I'm gonna enjoy this horn I can tell so if you'd like to uh, purchase this horn or many, many other customization parts, please visit us at 7x77cycles.com. I'm Willie, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day.